Guys, still seeing headphones coming in thick and fast. And today it's these touch control wireless TX8s from a company called Rubox. In what seems to be a sea of competition, are these no nonsense headphones any good? Find out in just a few seconds. What's up YouTube? Dave here with Seen Through a Lens and thanks for stopping by the channel. We make lifestyle videos and all things tech, so if that's your kind of thing, then please be sure to click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon for new videos. First off guys, I was sent these TX8s by Rubox. Now these guys make different headphones, both noise cancelling and non-noise cancelling. And these ones are non-noise cancelling, although you do get some soundproofing. So at £25, yes, £25, are these any good? Well, if you follow my channel, you'll know that whether I buy something myself or whether I get sent it, you're always gonna get my honest opinion. So guys, first impressions, getting them out of the box. These are pretty light construction, mainly plastic, but the band is a combination of metal, steel, whatever it is, and plastic. They have a nice soft padded headband and the ear cups are pretty cool as well. The one standout feature that I will say is these are foldable. So that's quite nice as well for when you're traveling. So in the ear cups you have L and R for guess what? Yes, you got it. On the right side, you've got an R and on the left side, you've got an L. Now, on the right side of the actual headphones, you have on the band, you've got a touch sensor, which is for play and pause of music. And if you're in phone mode or in the middle of a phone call or gonna take a phone call, you could also hang up and reject by using this touch sensor. Now, underneath that, you've got um, an LED which flashes between red and blue. When the headphones are in pairing mode, um, they flash red and blue. When you're paired, they're a solid blue. On the right ear cup, you have the power button, the volume up button, and the volume down button. There's also a mode switch. Mode switch, what is that? Well, I'll tell you. This little beauty has the ability to play music from a micro SD card. Now that's pretty cool. If you're in a place where you don't want to carry your phone, like a run or working out or something like that, you can simply play your music from an SD card. Let's face it guys, phones are getting massive, right? And difficult to carry around. So slot in a card and free yourself. Okay, that's a bit dramatic, but you know what I mean. So the mode switch does exactly that. It simply switches from Bluetooth mode to memory card mode. So that's pretty cool. Now. Let's get these paired up and check out the controls and all importantly, check out that audio quality. So I'm playing a track, touch the sensor and I'm pausing and then playing again. Now, if I got a phone call, I could also answer it by pushing the power button. If I press the volume up button, it does just that. Or if I press it and hold it, it skips to the next track. Likewise, if I press the volume down button, it turns the volume down or hold it for a few seconds and it skips back to the previous track. And then the mode switch, as I said previously, if I press that, you're just gonna switch from Bluetooth mode to memory card mode. So there you go. Operation of the controls work quite well, but I've gotta say that it would have been better to have handled the skip forwards and backwards from the touch sensor. Much more logical, in my opinion, to do that. But these are 25 pounds, and for that price, they're good. Now, the audio quality for the price is very good also. There is enough bass to give you depth. The highs were fairly crisp, and if I was to be critical, I'd just say that the sound stage should be a bit wider for headphones. But, and that is a big but, like I said, for 25 pounds, you cannot go wrong. I listened to these for two hours straight, no fatigue, and they were comfortable and very, very easy to listen to. Now, for a few specs, playtime is around 14 hours, charge time, two hours. 
and the TX8s use Bluetooth 5. And I reckon that's about all you need to know. Because if you want to know about frequencies and speaker characteristics, etc., you're not looking for a £25 set of headphones. The other nice thing with these TX8s is that if you do run out of juice and happen to have a phone or music player with a three and a half mil socket, you can also plug these in and use them wired. So that's pretty cool. And there's also an inline mic, so you can still use them for phone calls. So guys, all in all, a nice set of budget headphones with some smarts and a decent sound. I'll put any links to the products and any discount codes in the description. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below. And until then guys, thanks ever so much for watching. Thank you to Rubox for sending me these headphones to review. And guys, if you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. It does make a difference. And if you'd like to see more of my content, please subscribe and smash that bell icon to be notified of new videos. Guys, I'm Dave for Scene Through a Lens. Thanks ever so much for watching, and I will see you the next time. Bye for now.